Welcome to Hotline 21. I'm your host, Bruce Jackson, and I'm representing the Gift House, Inc., a HIV and STD um, nonprofit that provides free services to uh, the Chicagoland area. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the address so those of you who want to come out and get a free test for um, HIV and STD, it is completely free. Uh, all we require is a warm body. Uh, just come in. Uh, we're open from um, 7 p.m. to 12 midnight. And I'm going to put that address over right there. That's the address, so if you want to write it down. We're 1309 South Kesey, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, our phone number, if you want to call, if you get questions, you can call. Uh, call us at 773-522-2420. Uh, uh, for uh, any clinics that want to fax us, you can fax us at 773-522-2450. Or you can give us an email at the gift house at sbcglobal.net. You can also find us on the web, www.thegifthouse.org. So I'm going to put that information on the um, air a couple of times throughout our uh, uh, discourse today. Uh, so those of you who want this information, it would be available. And it is free. So you're not, you don't have to pay anything for uh, these uh, services. It is completely free. So uh, keep yourself healthy. Um, and the best way to do that is to get tested. Now, we got a great show for you today. Um, I have a, uh, a gentleman here um, that is a chef. He's a chef and he's going to help us with healthy eating. Tell us how to eat right and uh, got some great things. Uh, but first, uh, I want you to introduce yourself, uh, Jonathan. Yes. Okay. Pleasure to have you here. Likewise. Okay. And I want you to um, kind of uh, tell us how you got started and what made you want to be a chef and what is your, some of the best dishes that you make. And you're making me hungry already just talking about food. So just tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started. Okay. Well, my name is Jonathan Stewart, uh, chef, chef Jonathan Launchbox. It's the organization which I'm, I'm in right now. Um, whole thing got started basically uh, with my mom. You know, my mom was sick and she had to do these special meals and had to watch her eating and and help her with her food. So okay, I got kind of curious in healthy eating just because of my mom's illness, and so I took that curiosity and I went to school for it and turned that into a great idea of helping people just eating healthy in general. And so now I want to help my community. So my, the organization is to feed children and adolescents uh, healthy meals before and after school just to address the food desert that we, we are facing here in the city of Chicago and nationwide. Okay, so so wow, wow, that's that's a that's a tall order. That's a tall order, and it's needed because uh, most of the breakfast of champions are flaming hot and juicy juice. Yeah, I see it. Flaming hot and little kids going to school, they go in the little stores on the corner, and they come out with flaming hot and juicy juice. Yeah. I mean, that's the breakfast for champions, and then. The dinner, flaming hot, <laughs> juicy, juicy juice. juice. You know, talk about going back for seconds. And you don't know, get the honey buns. Right, and <laughs> then the, the honey buns. <coughs> and the school with donuts. Right, and then and the, and the school with the donuts. And I've never seen those donuts go bad. I mean, they can sit there for like days. They don't. They don't degrade. I don't know what they're using in them donuts. That's you know, top secret. Yeah, it is. Some yeah. got to be top secret. Because they don't go bad. And so, so you're talking about doing a, a, uh, a program really for inner city kids. Or is this inner city kids only or just all over? 
all over. It's all okay. over. Because I was one of the kids, get up in the morning, go to the store, take my little lunch money, go get me some Flame Hots, chips, candy, go to school, eat it. When I got out of school, same thing. My mom, southern woman, but she didn't cook all the time. Mm -hmm. So, but I did get my meals in, but not all the time because she was working, single parent. Right, so right. So, that's what I'm trying to, you know, help out. Parents was in the same situation as my mom and kids was in the same situ situation as I was when I was mm -hmm. coming up. So, you would do this in the schools? Yes. You would go to, go to uh, uh, public schools? charter schools and you will get there early enough to help them get a um a healthy breakfast for the kids yeah and free healthy breakfast because free yeah because some some schools you have to pay for breakfast mm -hmm. and the kids don't have the money they don't eat wow so i'm like that that should that shouldn't be a problem to have free food i mean it's america we have it's the most powerful, rich country in the world. Mm -hmm. We should not be having problems with feeding children. Wow, wow, wow. That's, 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 you said that, that, that sent chills down my spine. You know, kids that, you know, they come to school, they don't have the money. And kids can't work. They're little, little tots. They, yeah. You know, they just can't work. So if they don't have the money, they don't eat. They don't eat. That's, that's heavy. That's you know, I don't. I, I'm. I'm not promoting any candidate, Republican, Democrat, Libertarian. I'm not reporting, but all of them should consider that. You know, yes. making sure these kids have. Um, if they go to school for breakfast, they should be able to eat. You know, because you can't learn if you if you can't eat, and that's something that you're pushing yes. for to make sure these kids can eat. Now, what's some what's. Uh, uh, how many? How many kids? You're talking about how many? How many kids you plan to feed? You know, um, let's say what's a typical today if you uh, go to, to feed the kids. What, what are the kids like the most that you found that they like to eat for breakfast? What would you say? Well, pancakes, sausage, mm -hmm. eggs, something like wholesome, delicious, and th that's easy to provide. That's mm -hmm. very simple. It's pancakes, eggs, sausage. Apple, oranges, some fruits, having balance, some a balance for me, a balance start for right. the morning. Right, and this this is something that uh, that you you could do. Uh, you, would you have like volunteers to come out and help you guys? Yes. Or, you know, okay, and it's and it's not it's not too taxing on your crew to to provide that. No, it's not. Okay, I'm actually talking to a couple of friends of mine who's chefs. And graduated, and they they managers at restaurants, but we've been talking and putting ideas together on how to go out and start it, and to actually put it out there. Okay. Right. Now, I know the kids, little hungry mouths. Yeah. They don't have. They're not gonna have no trouble with uh, uh, trying to trying to uh, 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 accommodate you because they're gonna be hungry. So they're gonna. So, uh, what is, in addition to um, pancakes, eggs, and sausage, what other breakfasts that you can provide to them? There's multiples. We got. You could do a nice little bagel, or a nice little English muffin. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. It, it seems like kids don't eat it, but they go to McDonald's and get an English muffin, right? And a little a sandwich, but. That McDonald's food is not really all what it should be, and mm -hmm. that's public knowledge. So I just want to add a healthier, more healthy for them. Give it free fruit, apples, some vegetables, something they like to eat. Right, right. So, so um, uh, now, what about, and you have an after-school program. Yes. Okay, now... What types of, uh, what's on the menu for the after school program? What would you provide? What do kids like? I should say, what do kids like? Because you can make some stuff, you know, and because I was a kid, and some things that was made, I didn't like it. So I, it, I was like, I wish they would have asked me what I liked as a kid. I could have helped them out in terms of planning the menu. So, what, you know, you a chef, what have you found that kids like? Build, build, well, you can have pizza on for dinner sometimes. Build your own pizza, a veggie meat pizza. 
It's pretty good. It's good. It's delicious. And I actually tried that. My niece and nephews make make pizza with them, and they like it. And they 10, 11. So wow, build your own pizza. Build your own pizza. I like that. I like that because that way you know you you don't know, put a little. Uh, Cause I I like I like uh, I like mushrooms, man. I love. Mushrooms. I love. I like mushrooms, and I like. They don't put enough mushrooms on my. They don't just. They don't put enough mushrooms on my pizza for That's whatever your, reason. Build your own pizza. Yeah, I like that. Build your own pizza, yeah. and so kids. And this, I can see how the kids go crazy. You know, some kids want a little bit more uh, sausage. You know, That's fine. protein builds muscles, especially with healthy brain cells. Okay, okay. So build your own pizza. What? What is? What's another nice dinner that? Uh, I'm trying to get like three little dinners, you know, that kids would like. Cause sometimes kids would be sometimes they kind of finicky with what they like. Well, you do chicken. <laughs> chicken. All kids like chicken. You right. Like cook it up. Chicken strips. Chicken tenders. Chicken and mashed potatoes and some string beans. Something like that. Man, you making me hungry, man. Hungry you making myself. me hungry. Making you making me food. hungry. I'm going to have to put you in a kitchen and get you to work in. Now, what about desserts? What kind of desserts you, you got in plan for the kids? Well, I was thinking about vegan desserts. Vegan really? cookies, yeah. Vegan cookies? Yeah, not too much sugar, not too much. It's, not, it's more healthier than just regular cookies. Mm -hmm. And it still tastes delicious. It's, it's great. And... Like fruit, like uh, sorbets and different type of styles of ice cream. It's not too much fattening, but it's still delicious and it, it's more beneficial than than messing up a kid's body because it's the only thing you have for your whole life. Right, because, uh, you know, diabetes is really big, especially in the minority community, yes. you know. And kids, you know, you, you're seeing more... Um, you know, kids coming out with diabetes, and that's because of you know the sugar. We talked about honey buns, and uh, even for like Halloween, what would be what a, what would have been a nice uh, treat to give kids for Halloween that wouldn't be a big sugar spike, you know, but uh, would have been healthy. I gotta think about that one. You know. Yeah, you could do you could cookies, cookies, cookies. Yeah, you know, I guess I you know I've never seen nobody get fruit. Uh, uh, they got apples apple. sometimes, but uh, fruit in the basket in the, in, a, in the Halloween basket. But I was just thinking when you said that because I know a lot of kids they like to when we just had this ho we just had a holiday, a Halloween, and uh, diabetes is really bad. Yeah. And the minority community and people they want to participate and and have fun with with the hol with with the um, the, um, the, hol uh, the holidays, and if they give, thinking, you know, they're being positive and trying to, you know, help the kid, but if they're giving the kids too much candy, and kids, yeah. you know, they get that candy, and it's just like, there's no stopping sense. To, you See, know, they, got a special, they have special candy, like sugar-free candy, mm -hmm. diabetic candy, and I eat that myself. I got a whole jar at home with sh uh, uh, sugar-free uh, suckers. Mm-hmm. And it tastes good. It's real fruit, and it's delicious. Okay. And it's, pass it off all of you can't tell the difference. There ain't no label on it. It just uh, got the label of the company, and that's it. But it don't right. say diabetic, candy, sugar-free. And the kid, don't, if you give it to them, right. it, they're eating healthy, but not knowing it. And it's, and it's easy to train them to eat healthy if you just teach them and feed them early. Right, and give them right, things like right. that and tell them after, after they eat it. Oh, this is what you ate. What? Right. And just kind of like, you know, just start introducing them to some other options that yeah. was healthier than what they were doing before. If you're just joining us, uh, I'm talking uh, to Jonathan Stewart, uh, Jonathan Lunchbox. And he has a program, nonprofit, for, um, for schools that he provide, he will come to your school, whatever your school's at, if you're a student, uh, if you want to call and have him to come to your school to prepare healthy foods for breakfast or uh, after school programs, he will come to your after school program and prepare meals, free meals at your school. You need to call this number, get this guy here. He's got healthy 
cookies, okay? Vegan cookies. I ain't never had no vegan cookie before. What is that like? Uh, celery and carrots and stuff like that. Is that how it works? Is, you know, is, no. is that, I don't know. I, I bet I'm not no chef. So I can't give out my secrets oh. out online. Vegan I, I cookies. Online. This man's got vegan cookies. You got to call this guy. Um, call him. He will come to your place, your school. If you're a parent, uh, if you don't have the, the resources, to come, Jonathan Lunchbox will come out to your school and they will prepare breakfast. If your kid can't afford the, um, I didn't know that the kids were um, having problems with actually paying for their breakfast. I thought the kids got the breakfast for free. Um, you know, that's what we have, you know, people come on our show to just tell us what is happening. Uh, some kids can't pay for their breakfast. Uh, they can't pay for the meals. They just can't pay for the meals. They don't. They don't have a job. Kids don't have jobs. I mean, adults don't have jobs, but kids don't have jobs, and they're expected to pay for the meals. I don't know what the meals will cost, but whatever it is, it's too expensive for a kid because they don't have any resources. And uh, if the parent doesn't have resources, then you know the kid doesn't have it. This guy is going to come out and he's going to prepare that food for that kid and make sure that kid eats. If that kid. And that's the only way the kid can get educated. Yeah. You, you've got to eat. Uh, that sounds like a great, a really great program. How long have you been around so far? Well, I've been around for uh, 27 years. Well, I know you've been, you're, you're 27 <laughs> years old. How long your program has been around? Uh, I've been around for two years. Okay, two years. Two years. Yeah. All right. And uh, do you take volunteers? Yes, I do. Okay, so if you want to volunteer, you want to volunteer and help feed the kids, uh, I bet the kids love to see you, man. Yeah. You know, they they prefer to see you rather than seeing the teacher. They're like, man, where's that Jonathan Lunchbox guy? Because he's got, like, vegan cookies. I got to try You know what? I'm going to have you. I'm definitely going to have you back. I want to try some vegan cookies. Okay. I mean, is, are they really good? They're good. They're good. I'm just, I just never, I mean, I've tried chocolate chip cookies. I've tried peanut butter cookies. You know, I've tried them crazy cookies that they use for like Halloween with the M and M's and all that kind of stuff. You know, that's like I call that I don't know sugar cookie or something. You know, but I can't have that cookie. But uh, I mean, I can probably have it. You know what they say? A moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. You know what type of thing? But um, the, you know, but a vegan cookie. You know, you get my you get my wheels turning. I want to, you know, see what and this is the different styles of vegan cookies. Yeah. Like, what are the different styles? You got different. You can make it many different ways, but oh, vegan cook. Uh, should I give my recipe? I don't want to give out my recipe. You want to? Okay, don't give out no secrets. Don't give. Don't give. Don't give out no secrets. Okay, we're, this is CIA. We, we're not gonna give out any secrets. We're not gonna give out any secrets. We're not. You, the man's got vegan, vegan cookies. That are like supposed to be great. You, you, yeah, you like, great. you you put your state your reputation on it. Yeah. Okay. Vegan cook. Man, he yeah. stayed in his reputation. He stayed in his reputation on vegan cookies. Uh, that's man. Uh, so with vegan chocolate, can you do vegan chocolate yes. chip. Mm -hmm. Vegan oatmeal. You can do a vegan type of cookie. Vegan uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yes. D them my them my favorites. Man, I go crazy. I'm like the Cookie Monster. Remember the Cookie Monster on Sesame Street? Yeah. I am the Cookie Monster. Um, um, oatmeal cookies, um, peanut butter cookies, and chocolate chip. Man. Them are, yeah, them are them Do, staples. Them are staples. Them, I, I'm, I'm in, you know, peanut butter is like, I'm a peanut butter, just peanut butter nut. I love yeah. peanut butter. So if you can do peanut butter vegan... Because sometimes they put too much sugar in them. Yeah. You know, I go to the store, I get them, and I got to read the, you know, the nutrition facts. And it's like too much sugar in those cookies. And, you know, I, I'm like getting older and I don't want to, you know, my diabetes, you know, go crazy. And then you eat too much and you get high blood pressure and all that kind of stuff. And those are the, the and those are the things that I like to, my creature comforts, you know, I want to try a little cookie. But the vegan thing got me going. Only I got a crazy thought, like 
celery and carrot and cabbage in a cookie. Bad thought, bad thought, bad thought, bad thought. Okay, uh, great. How can we get in touch with you? Kind of tell us how we can get in touch with you yes. to, to get those kind of services. Yes. Uh, we can, they can meet you at the gift house? Yes, gift house. That's the best spot to meet me at. I'll be there. Come around. I'll come around every once in a while there. Every once in a while yeah. there. Every once in a while. I think yeah. we see you all the time. Every once in a while there. Wow. Every once in a while. Uh, you, can, you can meet this. You can meet Jonathan Lunchbox uh, at the gift house. Um, you can. They can call you. Uh, you can give them the number that they can call you at. At the gift house? 773-522-2420. Okay, 2420. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this information up so you can see it. Uh, you can read, if you want to read uh, Jonathan Lunchbox, you can go right to uh, the gift house, 1309 South Kesey. Um, they can come uh, in the evening times at 7. Yes. And he'll be there uh, as well. Uh of course, we'll be providing um, HIV testings as well. But if you have a school, uh, if you have a church, if you have an after-school program, and you want uh, a chef to come there and provide healthy food for your kids, this is the guy to talk to, Jonathan Lunchbox. Uh, if you um, want to call and ask some questions or leave questions for him, there's the number there, 773 522-2420. Um, he would um, answer questions for you. He's, uh, he also has vegan cookies. I mean, you yes. got me with that, vegan cookies. I mean, what other stuff you do vegan? Well, not only vegan, we have many other options as well. Smoothies, mm -hmm. healthy smoothies, uh, sorbets. Uh, now, how do you do a smoothie that's a good smoothie with no sugar? How do you do that? You got to give up that. No, I'm not going to give up You're that. You're not going to give up that? Well, it, you can use agave. You can use a guy. Okay, a guy. Okay, okay, so you give us a little natural, natural smoothie. Okay, I can yeah. see that. I can see that. Gabe, what's your best smoothie? Best smoothie. Give me your best smoothie. My favorite smoothie is banana and strawberry smoothie. But, oh my, that sounds good, man. Yeah, well, give good. me okay. Give me three big. Give me three of your best, your best smoothies. We got uh, the one I just said, banana strawberry. You got okay. uh, peanut butter and bananas. That's okay. protein, and that's plenty of protein, and one more. You do the last one. What's your favorite one? Well, you know what? Uh, uh, I went out to a health food store. It was in, I think, in Hyde Park, and they had a lemongrass, and it wasn't too bad. It was a lemongrass smoothie. They had, like, some fruit and stuff in it, mm -hmm. like a uh, mango, and I think yeah, maybe a watermelon and banana or something like that, and lemongrass. It wasn't bad. The kids it, probably won't like that. They won't. They won't. They won't. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna, they gonna turn up the cheek. Well, you asked me my. I know. I'm just saying what the kids. The kids would like. You know, but the kid. Okay, you kid expert. That's because you feed them. You feed them. You feed them in the morning. Yeah. You feed them in the evening. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like you know, you a kid. You can like make the dog be walking through that, walking, wandering through the street, and you give him something to eat, and he all of a sudden your friend. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. But it's, it, this is that it, I think it was a great program you got. Thank you know, I think it's a great program you got providing kids with uh, healthy meals. That is really the cornerstone of getting these kids educated because you cannot educate a kid if they don't uh, if they don't have enough uh, if they're not fed if they're not yeah. fed. So um, uh, I, I, we we gonna we gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, once again, great having you here. Thank you. And uh, what is um, uh, uh, you want to say? Anything? You, anything you want to say to the uh, to the audience before we get off the air? Proper nutrition is very simple. It's like picking from an apple in a bag of chips. It's like making the right decision from right and wrong. So if you pick an apple, you're making the right decision. It's good thoughts, good thinking, good eating, good healthy benefits for your body. You pick a bag of chips, it's high cholesterol, uh, heart attacks, and everything else. So just know it's from right and wrong. Apples in a bag of chips. So it's up to you. Be healthy. Okay. So that's it. Be healthy. Jonathan Lunchbox. 
I want to thank you again for uh, for coming out and uh, and telling us about the program you have. I think it was a great program, especially uh, for the kids, you know. Yeah. And uh, you got my wheels turning about these uh, the vegan cookies. I gotta try these vegan cookies. Yeah, they're great. You know. Great. So uh, until until next time, um, be healthy. Thanks again, Jonathan. Thank you.